Today, conversations about the border resumed with the Department of Homeland Security and Senate negotiators. The DHS secretary and White House staff were seen leaving the Capitol after only 90 minutes of discussions. The secretary refused to respond to questions on those negotiations. Thank you. Thank you. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer announced on Thursday the Senate would continue talks on the deal through the weekend, pushing back its holiday recess. Some lawmakers are still uncertain whether a deal can be reached by next week. Political reporter Daryl Fair walks us through the details of the drastic restrictions to border policies the GOP is demanding in exchange for critical aid to Ukraine. She also has you covered on the roles Wisconsin senators are playing to move the negotiations along. Daryl. An ongoing feud between Republicans in Congress and the White House is now becoming a race against time as both parties have failed to reach a compromise. Wisconsin Republican U.S. Senator and former Chairman of the European Senate Foreign Relations Subcommittee Ron Johnson introduced his own bipartisan proposal requiring stricter security measures at the southern border as part of a Democratic humanitarian aid package to Ukraine. Regardless of what your belief is in terms of providing you know, tens of billions of dollars more in support of Ukraine, uh, I think the first priority must be to secure our own border. You have to use any leverage you can you, you have at your disposal. This week, the Biden administration announced a proposal that would allocate more than $61 billion in supplemental assistance to Ukraine. The proposal has also carved out additional aid to Israel. Democrats have conceded to some GOP requests, like limiting migrants' options to claim asylum. Johnson says funding to Ukraine should be contingent on the administration meeting specific benchmarks to decrease the total number of individuals crossing the border illegally. We need to see the border numbers come down and come down dramatically. A recent spike in migrant arrivals in cities like New York and Chicago has led to a shift in President Biden and Democrats' support for more drastic border restrictions. It's an issue that has made its way to non-bordering states like Wisconsin. Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin calling on President Biden to prioritize additional measures to increase border personnel, but she argues that any proposal addressing border security should have comprehensive reform. I do regard our national security uh, uh, supplemental as an opportunity for us to confront the southern border. We have to have an all-hands-on-deck approach to fighting this scourge. White House officials are now saying the time to act on the funding request is running out. Border negotiators in the Senate and administration have confirmed plans to work through a framework for that proposal by Monday.